Hello, I'm Tamika Fletcher, your do-it-yourself expert and co-founder of Earth's Nectar Hair Care. Today, we are here with my beautiful model, Crystal Cole. Today, we're gonna show you a beautiful style inspired by an episode of Our Kind of People. In this episode, she's going to an event and we're gonna show you step-by-step step how to create this style at home. So, let's get started. First step to this style is to create three ponytails that we'll create buns with. So, I'm gonna show you first how to part the style. This is a rat tail comb that you can find at any beauty supply. But if you don't have one of these, you could also use a duck bill clip. I use those a lot to part with. One of the things that's really important about styles like this is if you are going to part the hair, make sure that the part is clean, which is why I'm using the end of the rat tail comb so that I can make sure that I'm making a very clean, beautiful part. We'll be using a little bit of edge tamer and we're gonna make sure that the top ponytail is nice and smooth. Her hair is already blown out. I'm gonna use a brush to blend in the edge tamer. One of the best things about this style is that you can create this style at home for under $10 and I'm going to tell you how. You need one pack of braiding hair, a rhinestone that I found online. So if you have a little time, maybe 15 minutes, $10 and you can create this style and turn heads everywhere you go. Once you've created your first bun, we're going to two strand twist the hair. Now this is going to also become a part of our style. The hair that we're using, that we're attaching, the braiding hair has already been pre-twisted but I'll also show you how to twist the extensions to match your natural hair. I'll only use one bobby pin to secure the bun, and then we'll move on to our second bun. One of the things that I like to do is to try and hide the parts. So you can actually part the hair at an angle, an downward angle, so that when you pull this second ponytail back, that last part is actually covered. I'm skipping to the third ponytail so that I can make sure that this last ponytail will be covered by the second. So I have actually a pretty thick rubber band and I like to use these to make sure that the hair is extra secure. Always be sure that it's not too tight. You don't have to have a very tight ponytail to make this style sleek and beautiful. We'll move on to our second. I guess we could call this more of a pony bun than a ponytail. So I'm gonna add a little bit of edge tamer. Make sure that you brush it in so that it's nice and smooth. You don't want a hard brush that will tangle or rip through your curls. Make sure that you're using a soft brush that will smooth the hair but not to cause breakage or damage. So we're gonna use the brush to blend our second and third ponytails to make sure that our parts are not showing. Our next step will be to repeat the same step from step one which would be to add a two strand twist to your natural hair. The difference between a two strand twist and a braid is there are two sections versus three sections. A braid has three sections and a two strand twist has just two. I think this style is amazing for every and any hair type. It's great for straight hair, wavy hair. If you have a special occasion, this is something that you can do really quickly. As you can see, this is not taking us a lot of time and it won't break the bank. So now that we have our second set of two strand twists, take the two strand twist and wrap them around the base of the ponytail to create a simple bun. Be sure that your bobby pins are comfortable and that you're actually putting them in the hair and not so close to the scalp. So this is the first step to creating this style. We have three pony buns as we've coined them today. We're going to now attach braiding hair that's been pre-twisted, but I'm actually gonna show you how to do that. So the cool thing about braiding hair, when you open up the pack, it's already sectioned almost into two parts. And most of the time it comes with this rubber band already connected to separate the hair inside of the package. This also could be used to anchor the hair to the ponytail. What I'm going to do is ask my beautiful model for assistance. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna ask you to hold right at the top so that we can twist. It's already in two sections. Take those two sections and to create a little bit of texture, actually give it a slight turn as you twist it. Once you get to the end, we'll secure it with the rubber band. And so I see you have this big, beautiful twist and then you said it was the pre-stretched braiding hair. How many bags of hair would I need to buy to do this at home? 
myself. The first thing you do when you walk into the beauty supply is look for your hair color. Yeah. Once you've found your hair color, you're gonna look for pre-stretched braiding hair. And you want pre-stretched because pre-stretched makes the ends a lot thinner. Okay. So when you create the twist, they'll actually stay together versus coming apart without a lot of work. Okay. And even though I have my hair dyed, it's best for me to match with my roots, of course. Yes, Unless match that's the look roots. you want, right? Unless that's the look you want, you're absolutely right. But you really just want to try to match the roots because once we anchor this to your ponytail, the next step is to create a beautiful crown. Pull it to the front. And don't worry about perfect placement at this point. I love the style from our kind of people. One of the things I love the most is that she had this beautiful cascading twist in the front that made the style look so formal and so beautiful. Which was perfect for the event. Yes, you know what? I think this style works with a formal evening gown and maybe even blue jeans. <laughs> day to day. Exactly. So I'm gonna come in with another twist. For the second step, I like to use a longer pin to secure the twist in place. And Tamika, I like what you said about not getting too close to the scalp, because sometimes you put those bobby pins in and after a long day, you're having like this massive headache because of the pin placement, so. You are absolutely That's a great right. tip that you gave me. Girl, it's nothing worse than a bobby pin in the wrong place. Oh my God. I have gone to the restroom in an event trying to find, find that, that bobby line. pin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know all about it. The second step is to take another twist, use the rubber band that's already secured at the top. If you do need to create this, it would be very simple. Wrap the rubber band around and pull it through itself. In this part, you're kind of just feeling your way to see what looks best, what complements, you know, I guess the shape of my head and everything the best. Yes. yes, there are absolutely no rules right, to right, the right. way that you want to do this. I mean, whatever you think looks best. I'm actually going to take this and literally just wrap it around the second one. Okay. And for the most part, I can still see a little bit of your two-strand twist through this twist. So you want to make sure that you're doing a good job with both set of twists, with your natural hair and with the braid extension. And remember again, make sure that your bobby pins are as far away from the scalp as possible. I know this style was elegant, but I kind of like what you said. It's kind of casual too. You can dress it up or down and go about your way. Yes, and look how quickly we're creating this style. So if you have a last minute invitation, I would keep a couple of these in my drawer already twisted. Just around the house, <laughs> so I can get it together Just quickly. Just keep them ready so you don't have to get ready. You'll already be ready. We'll take our last twist, secure it to our last pony bun, give it a little bit of a twist. We're gonna create another bun, wrap it around, and secure it with your bobby pins. The only thing I love more than this style is how quickly it came together and the fact that you could do it for less than $10. And I have been waiting for this moment where we pull out the jewels. One of the things that was most intriguing about that part of this segment is not only did she have a beautiful style, but she decorated the style with a beautiful rhinestone. I found these online for less than $10 and I actually only need a little piece of it. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-cut the piece that I need. By measuring it, go ahead and place it where I want the rhinestones to begin. Drape it throughout the style, but give yourself a little room to be creative. Make sure that you have placed it where you can actually see the shine of the rhinestone. Do your best to hide the bobby pins so that you can't see where the rhinestones are anchored. Add the finishing touch to this style, we'll use Earth's Nectar Hair Gloss. Earth's Nectar Hair Gloss will add the perfect shine to finish this look. Mm, smells yummy. This is made with a natural fruit oil and a little bit of essential oil, and it's a very simple product, but very, very effective. Mm. It smells amazing. It definitely and it adds such a pretty shine. You are shining like a new penny. <laughs> For more style inspiration, you can always find us at Earth's underscore Nectar, or you can find my beautiful model and her hair inspirations at Chris underscore J underscore Cole on Instagram. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to tune in, you don't wanna miss it.